Okay, this is wow. an old map of Holland. That's my dad, Dr. Wouter Bosch, opening a World War II era map. Amsterdam is up here. Here's the Rhine. My grandfather, Opa, used it to help fight the Nazis who occupied Holland during the war. His weapons were maps and a radio. He basically had a car radio. There was no electricity the last year of the wars. So he had a car battery that was recharged every day at the police station by a good Dutchman. Once a day, with two colleagues at the Once factory where he worked, Opa would go behind closed doors and listen to the radio. In total secrecy, because if, number one, they found out you had a radio, they would have shot you. They monitored reports from the BBC. Here's the Eastern Front in red. With arrows and circles on maps, they plotted the progress of the Allies. Much different news than the Nazi propaganda. All your information, your newspapers, your radios, all your communications is gone. So you only hear what the occupying power wants you to hear. They spread the information through a small underground newspaper. The penalty for doing that was death. The payoff was priceless. So this is the only thing that allowed you to survive because you had hope. You knew that the Allies were actually winning. We'll tell you why that hope was so critical next. Heather Bosch, News Radio 710 Cairo.